Hello everyone, Kirith here. Welcome to another GT Sport video and I want to ask you the question. Would you have punted off this driver? We've all been there in a race, really good race, having good battles, lots of clean battling, but there's one driver you suspect who's over the line. He's what we call in GT Sport a dirty driver and would you punt them off? I really want to know because, well, you're going to see in this video. It's FIA Nations at Tsukuba and surprisingly I actually qualified decently. And which is very unusual for me in FA quality. So I think as we go blind there, we were fourth. We're going to start on the grid in sixth place. It's a grid start at Sakuba, So there is going to be paint traded here. It's going to be one of those close quarter battle races. Amazing livery again from on the podium. On the podium, absolutely smashing it with liveries. Do go check him out on GT Sport. And the driver in question here is King Russ in P5, the old Russmeister general, who definitely is the driver in question today. So off the line here, I'm probably going to think about going up the inside of Russ. There's not a lot of room there, so I'll back up. I think I might have had some contact from behind, so I definitely do slam into Russ there. I've traded some paint from my bonnet onto his rear bumper. He might not be too happy about that. But I think there was quite a lot of contact in turn one, and that was always going to be the case. But yeah, we may have riled up Russ a little bit as we go around this tricky left hand. You can see how condensed it is with the top four ahead. And I'm now on the outside of Russ, who, to be fair, gives us space here. Definitely doesn't squeeze it out onto the grass. I didn't go for it running outside, that, that would be a bit stupid. But here, there's the first one. Turning right in a left-hander, that rang some alarm bells with me. I was thinking, hang on, King Russ might be one of those defensive masters or maybe a bit more, let's see. I'm right behind him now. I've got a French driver behind for company. He's actually gonna boost me down the straight. So the, the French driver is playing the long game, which is good to have as kind of a wingman behind. This last corner, I never really worked out as good as I would like. Russ was always quite good through here. Although I think I was a little bit better into turn one. Another boost from behind from the French drum. I'm going to go up the inside. And yeah, you can see we are parading paint big time there. I am turning left to be fair, but I'm just trying to hold my line, essentially. And not get squeezed into pitbull. So I've got ahead of Russ, but at what cost? Because we have awoken the beast. And I probably should have defend this more because Russ goes for a savage send up the inside and have to back out otherwise I knew I'd get squeezed out there on the outside so Russ has got ahead good battling strong battling so far probably nothing over the line but let me know if you disagree let me know if it, at this stage you would have already punted Russ into this breaking zone <laughs> maybe I'm just way too polite in duty sport as Russ goes for a good move up the inside of the Greek driver so now I've got a Greek driver behind and uh, Russ ahead. I'm just going to get ahead of the Greek driver, I think. But he does a fantastic move up the inside of the last corner. Fair play from the Greek driver. That is a great move. And we both give each other the space. So now I can try and send the Greek driver as a personal torpedo after Russ. I can deploy him. And... Uh, yeah, Russ wasn't the best through T1, always made himself under one. I'm in a sandwich now, I'm in between the Greek driver and the Ukrainian driver. So I don't know if that makes me Romanian. Flying the flag for Romania today. <laughs> Someone from behind comes in for a huge lunch. Doesn't quite work. So again, we got past the Greek driver. Target acquired on Russ again. He's just about within the slip. So we should be able to catch up. The SFR concept was the best car to use for this race. Um, basically a one make I think got Matt's powers in this in like a Raptor truck at the back of the field if you look at the top right that's got Matt's power in a different car that alternate strat did, did quite work out this time round but yeah my pace here was, was decent you know the quality was good My probably my best FIA quality for a long time normally I, I quality in the bottom half for FIA but here I had the pace to be at the front I had the pace to go, to go for the win would be about 240 points to the win, so not huge, not the normal like 300 points I've been doing recently, but 240 still for me, I'd be very happy with that. And feels like the gap now is just kind of condensing. Let's zoom it forward a little bit as we go purple. So, yeah, we definitely had some sort of decent pace here. But, yes, yeah, zooming forward now to lap 11, where things really start to get interesting. This is the end game of the race. I've had to bide my time behind Russ. And actually, we both caught up with the uh, pack ahead. And you can see now they're really starting to fight ahead. There's five cars there. 
in a very short amount of time because I go a little bit deep but that'll mean I get a decent exit and yeah they're three wide four wide going into the right hander so we're definitely going to catch up now we've gained a second in just a few corners and surely someone's going to send it at this hairpin at the bottom of the track yes again three wide or so and Russ is there Russ is caught up and I'm going to join him so here we go this is not a bad position to be in. I'm here to win it. And I think I still can win this race. I'm less than two seconds off the lead. And we've got Russ, who's surely going to come through like a bowling ball causing carnage. Let's see. Russ kind of shapes up the inside. Can't really do anything. But he's got a nice inside line as they're battling. Um, washes out wide. I think he might have been trying to go for the inside and then using the out car as a, as a wall to kind of ride against, maybe. Um, I go deep here. I didn't feel there's any need to go tight. I can try and get a good exit and see what's going on on, on the exit Barakas who was very fast in quality gets squeezed out a little bit so Russ makes the position is Barakas going to go back for it no he doesn't buys this time and it's all happening on the outside and then again King Russ bang there we go dispatched with the Frenchman good night Frenchman in absolute shambles there now these are my thoughts at this point of the race there's about three laps to go and I'm thinking Let's be real here. I'm not going to be able to get past Russ without us battling so much that we're going to lose time to leaders. So this is where the consideration comes into play. We've seen what he did with me earlier in the race. We've seen what he's just done with the Frenchman. We've got a lot of his information there. Considering that I can definitely go for the win in this race and he seems to have made quite a few dirty moves, do we just punt him off? Is that a valid thing to do or not? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if if you would do that in this race because the win is still on here two seconds but anyone who tangles with Russ seems to just die he's got the death touch but we're catching up again Barakas is there and I don't want to apply too much pressure to King Russ here so I think about actually I do I go for a savage lunge up the inside but I overshoot and Russ is going to come back and yeah just nudge me a little bit I back out of it so I don't end up on that grass so yeah a bit of a risky move by me because we've just again we've lost time in hindsight i wouldn't have gone for that move i would have bided my time a little bit more because again we're losing out we need the guys ahead to fight now otherwise we're going to fall back a little bit of lag from old russ there but um, we're still in touch although we've definitely lost time to the leaders um to b drivers at the front there the brit and the spaniard nice mix of nationalities here brit spaniard belgian Portuguese, German, another Brit, a Frenchman and an Austrian in the top eight. Absolutely superb stuff. It's like Euro 2021 already. And if you are watching this video on the day it's released, um, firstly, big thank you to all the members who continue to support the channel. I'll put their names up on screen. You guys are the real MVPs. That's why I can upload these kind of videos with no adverts for everyone. And secondly, if you do want to enter the Euro 2021 football, fantasy football league, then there's a link in the Discord. I'll put a link to that in the... Uh, description below we are just waffling for time there as we continue to try and catch up with the group ahead we've only got a lap and a half to go so if it's going to happen it's going to have to happen, happen quickly and I think to be honest we might have just blown it with that move where we went a little bit too deep we probably should have tried to stop it on the apex a little bit more and it kind of feels wrong that King Russ is in P5 considering that the Frenchman didn't really do anything wrong. I don't feel like I did much wrong. Um, but I, in a way, fair play to Russ. He's there, but some, definitely some strong moves. Right, one lap to go. If you have a look at the radar on the top right, you see the field is completely splintered. So there's definitely a leading pack and then a midfield pack. And then I think got Max Power at the back. The got Max pack. Um, as Barakas goes sort of side by side with the Belgian surely it's too late for me now I can think about doing an absolutely huge send up the inside here but I'm just too far behind so I'd buy my time a little bit I am catching up I would say just four tenths behind King Russ now if I can get a good exit here we could think about doing the mother of all sends into the hairpin but I'm so far behind surely it's not going to work no Russ goes defensive as well so nothing would have been on so unless there's some kind of miracle here on the last corner, the miracle at Sakuba, we are going to finish in P6. You can see I just did my fastest lap, which was two tenths off the fastest lap of the race. So I, I definitely had the pace today. And this was the last slot in FIA, so I couldn't go again. 
and as you can see we're not going to get that position so to be honest i leave this race a little bit frustrated we, we had decent pace we had a good quality position and should we have been more ruthless with king ross i think we definitely could have got in the top three in this race no question about that um but we were just not able to do it so let me know how you would have dealt with that battle there let me know how fia went as well i really enjoyed this round by the way i thought it was a great round grid start 15 lap kind of sp sprint i think the race time in the end is about 60 minutes or so shame it was a one make it would have been good to have cars that you know some are a bit better on the straight some are a bit better on the corners that balance itself out but a uh, really interesting round i don't often do nations but this one definitely caught my eye hope you enjoyed it as well and not too many penalties as you look down the grid so generally the racing was quite clean here but yeah, hope you enjoyed this race. Do feel free to like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Ring the notification bell if you want. But otherwise, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again next time.